Right now I'm getting ladders set up on the columns. Concrete truck's on its way, pump truck's on its way. About an hour we're gonna be pumping concrete into these piers. And then just kind of moving the ladders, skipping ladders as we go. Hopefully it won't take more than an hour or maybe 90 minutes to get everything in here, but I've never done it, so let's see what happens. A little more. Uh, I think that we should be all right. There we go. All right. Well, <laughs> this is going to be heavy, but we're going to get it done. thinner so it'll go in those small cells. Really glad to have that project done. Man, that was that was work. But pretty good.
Meanwhile, the permanent power line has been installed, buried in the ground, connected to the house, and here it is just hanging at the pole, waiting for a final inspection and for us to have all of our fixtures installed before they'll connect that. Then ran it down that little tube and buried it. And so now I have to rake and reseed that little area there because we don't want that washing out. So we've got the steel ordered for our beams and uh, that should be here in a week. They've got to cut them, paint them with uh, like a shop primer and then they'll deliver them next week. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna try and get all this ready, uh, maybe smooth out this grade a little bit. I gotta trim this dimple board to the same line as that uh, waterproofing. Just clean this up because once we get this steel set and get the deck pan on it's going to be more difficult to get underneath here to do all that so just clean it up and kind of getting things ready to stage that steel to the premises, battery backup, internet is prepped. So we're about an hour out from our steel being delivered. Uh, we just got the call this morning that they are on their way and they should be here sometime afternoon. Um, the, this has been a huge delay for us and the reason being is just there's so many problems and complications that come with putting this porch on to this ICF house and it really needs to be um, detailed down to the exact size and making sure that we're ordering everything exactly right so that we don't end up wasting money and getting the wrong thing. And it's a really good thing that we didn't go ahead and order this um, steel in advance because if we would have, um, it would have been the wrong size. Uh, when the masons went and put in these blocks, they're off by just a little bit so it ends up being that these porches are 10 feet on this side and then they're 10 feet 6 inches on that side. So the steel would have been incorrect if we would have ordered it based off the original plans. So we definitely needed to measure that on the fly after it was already done. In addition we made some changes to the depth of the uh, metal pans that we're using. Um, we wanted it to not have such a high lip when stepping up into the house and we talked to our uh, concrete guys about that and they recommend going with a, a different type of steel that was a little bit higher, it's spaced a little bit differently and again a good thing that we did that and we waited until we got uh, talked to all of our subcontractors and got them all on the same page because otherwise we would have been ordering the wrong thing. So my boots are officially broken in. They're covered in concrete. I'm sure they will be even more so after we're done pouring these porches. Huge thank you to Ariat for working with us this year. This is not a sponsored video. I'm just telling you guys that I absolutely love their clothes. We are complete converts over to the Ariat brand. Uh, they're just super high quality. This is from their, their new uh, women's rebar work line nice pocket in here and what we're calling a jelly bean pocket if you need to store your little jelly beans but these guys are, are amazing i love the quality of their clothes totally worth it and they are um, having their huge annual sale november 21st through november 30th again this is not sponsored they just kind of told us that hey we're having the sale sale and i'm passing it along to you guys because we love them and hopefully you guys will too if you guys are interested in trying them out or gifting airy clothing we're going to leave a link down below i think you can even get an additional 10 percent off by using our code down below so go check that out okay while i'm waiting on the steel truck i'm going to wire run some wire for the well house so this is number eight uh, wire uh, 8 2 with the ground. So our well is 465 feet deep. Our, our electrical from the panel to here is about, I'll say, 65 feet. 
and we ran number 10 wire for all that and so that's kind of right at the edge of the the maximum distance the, the well depth plus all this to the, to get to the actual breaker box it's right there at the edge of where you're going to start seeing voltage drop so i'm going to run number eight between the house and the well house uh, just to kind of help make up for that just a little bit uh, we should be fine because the pump we have is a Grunfuss, uh, it can deal with voltage fluctuations, it's a soft start, it's, it's a good pump. So, But I'm running the number 8 just to be safe. This is black poly pipe we buried when we did the well uh, water line. Uh, this is for the electrical and then here is our 1 inch PVC for the water line. I'm going to put the pressure tank and all that in here, hot water heater here. This will be the kind of, kind of a corner where all the water stuff goes. So right now we're going to fish this wire into the well house and hope it gets there without getting clogged. I tried to run the fish tape through there, but it's only 50 feet long. And uh, I think I've got about 52 feet to get from here to the well house. So this is pretty stiff wire. It should go right up in there, no problem. Getting a little harder. Keep it all straight so it doesn't twist on me. I hope that's when it goes out and goes up. Probably a pretty good sweep there. I think I just hit it. I'm gonna go check. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh yeah, look at that. That's why it got stiff. Just made it. And we got plenty of room. Alright man, we're in good shape. I'm going to put the disconnect in here. And uh, wire up an outlet. deck pans here and the I-beams are over here so we got some work to do it's not too heavy but it's definitely a two-person job to move that we're gonna see how heavy the beams actually are and whether we need the tractor or not so let's get to work okay I don't know if you can see but here's the engineered drawings for this porch and uh, this beam right here will be the first one we try to set 12 foot 7 inch it's a w8 by 15 and it's marked 1b1 so we got to go find 1b1 okay so we have some two different types of beams here we have w8 by 15s which are thicker steel so they're 15 pounds a foot but they're eight inches high and W810s, which are 10 pounds a foot, so there's a little bit thinner steel. And you can see the difference right here if you come and look. You can see how the, the web is a little bit thinner here, and then this a little bit thicker here. These are longer beams for a longer span, gives you extra strength. These are not, they don't need to be as long. And then there's two pieces of six by six angle iron for our corners. So what I'm looking for is 1B1 <clears throat> and these are locked together of course it's like right there so we got to get to it
first beam is on. Uh, six inches of bearing on each end. So we're good there. Pretty level. Might need a little wee bit of adjustment, but not too bad. they made the columns level. I'm gonna have to clean off this concrete a little bit and get it smoothed up. Okay, um, sometimes you just have to think like an ancient Egyptian. We have to get all these beams set on all these columns and there's this much slope so we can't really use the tractor because we'll be you know losing the beam so on a list of hinky hillbilly engineering we're gonna try and slide roll these down that way we only have to set them on this span and then we can move them down this may or may not work who knows Six that are exactly the same. This beam is going down there. Now let's move that roller. This can't stick out past this. It's going to hit it. So it has to roll. You can't hit this. Just put enough to get under the board. Same thing with this one, except put this one in the middle of the beam when I lift on this. steer these rods to keep them uh, perpendicular otherwise they're going to roll it hold on this end, you put this here. lift this end and you slide it towards me just a couple inches and get on top of this block. 
One, two. Good. Now, I don't want to do it. Okay, good enough. Good enough. off this I tried to clean this off while we were doing it when I was smoothing the concrete but you know it's just it's got a couple little burrs here and there you just want to clean them up Fun of building on the side of a mountain. Hula! So this is upside down because the bottom is smooth. The top has got like chunks of concrete and mortar and all kind of mess. And we need a smooth surface so we can run rollers all the way along it. Now I'll rotate this one to be on its side to make a stable platform that we will set the next one on top of. Got to put a block on each end so we can set it down and get the forks out from under it.
Now they painted it with a shop coat of primer. I'm trying not to scratch that up too much because we don't want it to get too rusty. I'll touch it up if I have to. These are old stakes, probably old, who knows what they used to be. Curtain rods, I don't know, I keep everything like this because they always come in handy for something. So these will be our, these will be our rollers. We should have one more 12 foot 6 piece. I believe that's the one all the way in the back. Yes, it is. Yep, they mislabeled that one. Always got to measure. Alright, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, we got six done. I got six more to go. I'm going to use the skid steer for that. So I'm going to wrap this video up and uh, get it posted. And we'll pick it up when we start finishing the beams and start setting the deck pin. And that'll be the next video. Appreciate you watching. See you next time.